people it's Courtney I have a brand new series today and if you couldn't tell by the title of this video it may be like a tad bit controversial so I wanted to hop on here and explain to you guys my thought process behind this whole series so you guys know I've done a ton of different slime videos and different slime series and recently I did the most satisfying slimes I could find on Etsy which basically translated into like the most beautiful slimes and photos I could find so I thought I would possibly do like the opposite of that and buy the ugliest slime that I found on Etsy and the reason I wanted to do this was to see like maybe it was just a bad photo bad lighting because photos are literally everything or maybe just the colors didn't translate well like on camera or with the camera they were using so I'm really curious like if these slimes are gonna be good or maybe they are just like ugly and bad which sounds terrible to say but I really wanted to give like these slime shops a chance because most of them had like zero sales so I wanted to maybe Maybe be there for sale see what I thought and maybe it will turn out to be amazing and you guys will like them too and want to try them out and then they'll get a ton of sales so please give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for this new series and I'll definitely do a part two and also I'm having a giveaway right now running until the end of April for an iPad all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel my vlog channel and follow both of my Instagrams without further ado let's go ahead and hop into these slimes the very first slime shop I'm starting with is slime of the vines now this one was packaged so incredibly nice definitely like a more quality slime shop the picture definitely did not do this photo very much justice it was kind of dark and the photo wasn't that bad you'll see some of them are even worse in this video this was one of the better photos um, but I think the slime actually was really nice very nice package quality I did have to go in and activate it a little bit and even though like it wasn't sticky it kind of left like a strange residue on my hands that like a slime shouldn't leave really um, but it wasn't too bad and overall I think the texture of the slime was really nice it was very thick it was stretchy and it was actually scented as well it was scented like popcorn so I thought the whole theme of this slime the packaging the quality was very very nice everything despite the um, residue it left on my hands so I would give this like a 4.5 stars out of 5 I think this one was overall like a really great package I'm not really sure why it left that kind of residue, but overall everything else was great. The next slime shop I have is from Slithery Slimes. Now this one wasn't as professional as the first one, but still really nicely put together. It did come with a note that was a little concerning. It said that the slime would leave black residue on your hands, but that it wasn't permanent. So if you know a slime leaves black residue, that's kind of like a little worrying. You should maybe fix the recipe. But I actually, it was a lot better than I was expecting. I was expecting my hands to be like black after playing with this, um, but they weren't. So overall, I definitely think you know you don't need to include the note because it left a few little like black pieces of slime but it didn't really color my hands or stain my hands or anything like that so this one wasn't scented but it was obviously a very vibrant black color and a really nice clay slash butter slime really nice texture I enjoyed it a lot so despite the little false warning I think this one was great so I would give this a five stars out of five really nice packaging the photo definitely didn't do the slime justice because it had a really nice texture to it and held its shape so like a nice kind of slime swirl on a white background or something would have really kind of made this slime stood out um, or stand out I don't know what I'm saying anyways I think this one was great and if it had a better photo I think this one would sell really nicely Thank you. 
This next package is from the 2911 plan and this slime was a fluffy slime and it didn't come with any activator, it just came with a business card and the slime actually came in a Ziploc bag. I've never had a slime from Etsy come in a Ziploc bag. That's usually like the Wish slimes and stuff like that. So for the price, I definitely think it should have came in a container that could be reused because I think this one was like $8 or so. So definitely similar slimes in the of that price um, category are coming in nicer containers and as you could see this slime was super rubbery very over activated it definitely had like way too much shaving cream or something it was supposed to be a fluffy slime so this one was unscented but just way too much shaving cream that made it not stretchy not fun to play with you couldn't really do much with it at all and the photo actually it was bright but it didn't really look like a great slime swirl or anything so I would have to give this one a one star out of five This next slime package is from Seasons Slime Shop, and this was a incredibly nice put together package. You guys, their calligraphy and drawings are so cute. This is a great way to do like a hand drawn label. They did such a nice job. Um, so as you could see, the photo just really didn't do this justice. This slime was amazing. I really, really loved it. It was like a nice thick slime. Um, it seemed kind of like a clay slime. I'm not exactly sure. It wasn't scented though, and overall, I just really loved the texture of this one and just the overall quality of the package I think was really nice from the hand-drawn labels everything was packaged really nicely their logos were nice just everything was very professional and nice quality so if their photos would have been like nice and bright I think this would sell so well I would give this one a five star out of five star I think this one was great I'm like being so surprised from all these slimes I really didn't think they would be that amazing like this one and the past couple ones um, I'm just really shocked. So that goes to show you, you can't always judge a slime by its photo. This next package is from Casey's Creations, and as you'll see, I'm gonna link it down below as Casey's Creations, but on Etsy, they just have like a bunch of random numbers and letters. Um, but anyways, you'll see the slime. I'll link it down below for you. So this one just wasn't quite put together very nicely. As you could see, quite a few things leaked. The borax leaked, the slime, the extra slime leaked, but it was an extra, which was nice. Um, everything was just kind of a little bit on the sloppy side, but I would say this slime was a lot prettier than the photo, a lot prettier green beautiful glitters and just overall very nice compared to the photo um, the packaging could definitely use some work this one was a tad bit on the rubbery side not terrible and it wasn't scented but overall I think this one wasn't bad like at the slime itself I would give this like a three stars out of five not my favorite but definitely way better than the photo They also did send another like free sample eight ounce slime, which I thought was great. This one, the colors were kind of like muted, kind of dark, so not as pretty. Um, and this one was a bit more on the rubbery side, but again, it was an extra slime, so I'm not gonna like give it a score or anything like that. I just wanted to show you guys it very quickly. The 
The last package I have here is from the Narwhal Slime and this was packaged very very cute and really nicely. It came with a ton of little extras and some candies and also you guys I was so shocked the slime came in this like ginormous heart container and I have a few reservations of this. One it was super cute it looked a lot better than the photo however I'm almost positive this slime was definitely used. There was hairs all in it. I found like three hairs on the lid. I found like another like seven hairs in the slime. There was so many. It seemed like someone really played with this for a long time and then decided to sell it. That was kind of my interpretation and I'm really bummed because it was a great price and you guys the slime itself was amazing. Like I was a little bit grossed out but the texture was very thick and very nice and it was such a large quantity of slime for such a great price. I was just like I said grossed out. So if this was a a little neater a little like cleaner I would have definitely given this a five star out of five star but because it definitely seemed like it wasn't I'm gonna have to give this like a two star out of five just for sanitary reasons Not gonna lie you guys, I was very nervous to post this video because I'm not sure if people would take it the wrong way. So I would love to hear your feedback in the comments down below and what you thought about these slimes. And as always, all these slime shops are gonna be listed down below in the description box for you to check out. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Also, I have been vlogging a ton. So if you want more day in my lives and more slime behind the scenes stuff, definitely make sure to go check it out. All you have to do is click on over to the side of me and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.